Be sure to check out banggood.com for RC cars like this one you're about to see. They got parts and accessories, complete kits, ready to runs, everything you need. What's going on there, YouTube? Man, <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this. The good folks at banggood.com sent me this HGP801. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> this thing is going to be awesome. Um, so what this is, one twelfth scale, 8x8 military truck. It, U.S. military truck, it says. Um, I don't know what model or anything it's a replica of, but I think this is very similar to uh, some Cross RC, very high-end RC cars. So uh, uh, it arrived today. I've got this other box on top. So I'm guessing the main box is just the vehicle. But we're going to get into it here. Um, I wanted to talk about a few things first. This is expensive. This is $800. But uh, it did take a while just because of the size to get here. Um, it was express shipped and it still took about two weeks. Um, I was waiting on one other thing to be in stock before they shipped it. So I've been waiting about a month for it. But the shipping only took about two actual weeks. And uh, yeah, this thing... I was laughing because... The uh, questions on, on banggood.com on the item, they <laughs> people were freaking out. Is this the price of typo? They, they're thinking it's the, like the uh, the little uh, WL toy, like military trucks, the ones that are around 30 to 50 bucks and stuff. People were assuming this is the same thing, and they were freaking out about the price and saying that's insane and all that. Now I'm here today to show you what this actually is, because this thing is not a $50 RC car. This is a very very high-end RC car so uh, I guess we'll start right here with the small box I did take a peek just curious to see what was in it um, we've got our instruction book stickers that is a very thick well-bound instruction booklet uh, we've got some mud flaps what are these these are all the tie downs for the bed some hardware We've got steel cable, I'm guessing, for locking diffs. Uh, we've got our usual little tidy bag with zip ties and wrenches. We've got some set screws and some wheel nuts. And more mud flaps. Some more hardware in here. This is probably all the screws for the uh, tie downs. Now this is available in two different versions. You've got the 801 and 802. This one has a box on it. And I believe the 802 version is it's tan instead of green, and it has a fifth wheel for pulling a trailer. Um, as far as I know, there's no trailer available. Look at this. <laughs> so not only did it come with all this hardware, it actually came with nice aluminum handle drive, nut drivers. We've got 1.5 millimeter, 2 millimeter, and 2.5 millimeter. Aluminum handle, looks like titanium coated. <laughs> that's, that's impressive. Oh, there's another little bag of screws. Well, let's see what's in this box. Alright, so we've got our controller. This is exactly the same as the one on the P407, the, the Bruiser truck. So this should be a 4 channel, 2.4, just basic stuff. Nothing out of this world, but functional, it works. We've got our high and low range shifter just like we did on the other truck trims and stuff basic radio no biggie all right so now let's move on to the big box and uh yeah judging by the handle that is made into the top of it that is like it's nicer than luggage i have <laughs> all right got some tape across the top I don't have enough room up here for all this. May have to move to the floor to open it. <laughs> all right, so we've got. Oh lord, I'm gonna have to do this off camera here. Because so I got a styrofoam briefcase. Let's see if we can get this magnets. Holy cow! <laughs> it's 
It's actually hinged. We've got straps here, I'm guessing, to pick it up. Got just some. That's just packing material. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, these even latch. Holy cow. I need to latch all my little gates here real quick. <laughs> so we've got some plastic on the body parts. The bed floor is metal. Um, plastic on the cab. Metal <laughs> exhaust guard. Holy cow. Alright, so I'm going to move my lamp out of the way here. <laughs> It ain't coming. Another, I'm going to do this off camera too. Holy cow, this thing is huge. Uh, it's an awesome case to, if I ever, you know, go to far away or something have to travel with it. So, I guess we'll untie our ribbons here. It's wrapped up in Christmas bows. Oh, they already tied it in a knot. I already tied it in a knot. We'll just cut them. <laughs> And that's if I had to use some scissors instead of a <laughs> water cutters. All right, let's get our hairnet off the cab here. <laughs> Got a blinking light on the roof. Oh my lord, this thing probably weighs, uh, let's say, at least 12, 15 pounds maybe. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh man. I don't, I don't, let me gather my thoughts here, but we'll, we'll talk about this thing. All right, guys, I'm going to try something different here and get some close-up shots of this thing for you. Um, <clears throat> I'll take a look at the interior. We've got a functional door latch here. Just push that down. Open the door. We've got realistic-looking door panels. Window trim is painted. A pretty realistic-looking gauge setup. Uh, <laughs> It's all just plastic, but it actually looks really, really scale. Let's see if we can get to zoom in on the inside here. There we go. Pretty impressed so far. Um, let's move around to the other side here. Inside the passenger side of the cab. Same kind of door, same kind of seat. A little bit of instrumentation on the dash. Moving on the side here in the corner, we've got headlights, marker lights. Got roof light, got our full size spare, got a whole bunch of uh, stuff going on up here in the engine bay. It's all just OD green, got a metal heat shield on the exhaust. It's hard to see in there, we'll get it over on the bottom here in a minute. The suspension is tandem front, tandem rear, got a battery box. We've got some kind of a uh, roll of winch line rope of some sort. Rear set up pretty similar. This thing's so big I can't get light everywhere. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, clear tail light lenses, D ring shackles. And that bed floor is metal also. The bed sides are plastic. Overall length, we're right at 30 inches from the nose of the cab all the way to the back of the box. Going down the driver's side, we've got some jerry cans. Looks like an intake canister. Uh, here we've got a fuel cell. It has our on-off switch and it does open. I see a battery connector back here. I'm not sure where the battery goes. I may have to actually get the instructions out because we do need to put on all the uh, little accessories on the box and uh, the mud flaps and the things like that. All right, here's a look at the front suspension. <laughs> wow, this is where this gets expensive. So we've got metal axles, metal suspension. Uh, the leaf springs are a, looks like a plastic primary with uh, metal secondary leafs and it's got a full pack looks like four metal ones and one plastic um, we do have a remote cable steering setup you can see all the uh, cables running everywhere um, yeah <laughs> a lot going on it that uh, 
I can see the motor here and the back of the gearbox is here so it's got a massive unit back here uh, I'm not sure what the gearing or anything is but moving over here to the center you can see the uh, transfer case that is metal as well chassis metal we've got metal drive shafts a lot of them five I've got a servo right here so it does look like this is a two-speed unit at the transfer case um there's that a remote i can't tell i see you know that goes into the gearbox there's a lever and a spring so it is a two-speed unit um it looks like back here above the rear axles is where the battery mounts there's a little compartment way in there it looks like it'll hold a normal size stick pack or anything about that size um, that lead is a little short I'll have to see what we can squeeze in there I really hope I have a battery that that'll work with this right now uh, that is one thing that does not come with a battery it is completely ready to run other than that um, but again it's four-wheel steering up front um, does not have remote lockers so all of the cable system is for the steering um, there is an extra servo mount here next to the shifter servo. I don't know if that's something that could be added later. Um, I'm not familiar with this axle. I don't know what these are. They are very, very solid stuff. And everything's got a nice good coat of OD green, military green on it. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to get the instructions out and uh, start seeing what I can do with this thing. and stuff mounted on the bed um, the issue with that and the instructions I'll show you here in a second um, I did discover the battery compartment metal end frame there are a screw on each side and that pulls out and that's how you load your battery in okay so looking at the bed we've got all these screws here where we've mounted these uh, they're holders for metal hoops if you were to put a canopy over this and then these are the tie downs I don't know if any of that's available yet I'll have to take a look on Banggood and see if uh, See if they've got any of that stuff, because that would be kind of cool to have a metal framed canopy bungees to strap it down. But those inner pieces, the instruction booklet shows you to screw them in from the inside. And these are, uh, the plastic's tight enough that it's supposed to go through here and thread into them. And I drilled all of mine out just a little bit to make it easier to do that. And... I noticed it looked kind of funny. I went and looked at the picture on the box and the screws are supposed to be on the outside. And the instructions very clearly show you from the inside out. So uh, beware of that. Luckily, the, I didn't drill them out big enough to not allow it to thread. There's one of them that's kind of maybe a little loose, but luckily they all held and they're all in there pretty tight. So Cause I would like to do the canopy if I can find one. That would be pretty cool. It has two instruction booklets. We've got one just for the electronics, and that shows you how and where to run all of your lights and uh, your sound module, where it mounts, how it all goes together. So that's pretty handy. But um, right now, I'm just waiting on this thing to, to, to charge. I really want to want to get it out and, and try it out. I want to see how it crawls. One thing I really can't show you, it has a fan that spins on the front of the motor. So we've got this scale looking diesel engine in here with a big transmission and on the front side of our 540 sized motor there is a fan that spins with it. <laughs> I thought that was just pretty cool. Um, and again, I, I've been getting asked a lot on social media. The bed floor is metal and the front skid plate here on the body is metal. And then everything pretty much from the chassis down is metal. Um, it feels like our gearbox down here is metal as well. These parts that stick up on it or metal that is plastic so the major body panels are plastic but I'd say more than 75 percent of this thing is metal and all the suspension components the uh, upper and lower links 
everything on there is stout. Even this end of frame piece that you take off to the battery, metal. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we gotta get the battery charged. It's got very in-depth instructions as far as setting up electronics and how to fine-tune your steering and things of that nature. So I'm just going to keep tinkering with it. If the battery doesn't charge here pretty soon, I may go ahead and take some stuff off and look at the chassis. Right, guys. I think it's going to take my battery a while to charge. So I went ahead and pulled the uh, front body off. Take a look. <clears throat> That's pretty neat. The uh, tow hooks are actually on the chassis. Got some reinforcement plates up here. I mean, it's got scale rivets in it and everything. Body bouncer metal. Um, got a metal grill here in front of the motor area. It is pretty, pretty cool. <coughs> Can't really see a whole lot of what's going on in there. Can't tell. I think the shocks are plastic. Ah, I really want to get this thing out and drive it. It's already dark now, so I have to wait till tomorrow. But all right, guys. So I'm laughing because I've already broken part of the. <laughs> Uh, I used a small lipo that came with a boat that I got from Banggood. Um, I just used the basic wall charger. This does not come with a battery. <laughs> this thing is a tank. Oh my god. So uh, I just ran it around the living room. It's already dark outside, so I can't get it out just yet. <laughs> These front mud flaps here, when, when you're climbing small obstacles like the little step up in my living room, they're a no-go. They ripped the flap off completely and flipped the truck over. <laughs> this thing is massive. Um, I can't tell a whole lot of speed. I'm going to have to wait until I get it outside. Between the, uh, the it's got a two speed differential. But listen to this. That steering is wild. I think it's in low gear right now and it's still, it's very peppy. And I put it in high, and it, it was uncontrollable inside the house. So, <laughs> just to save time, I'm going to go ahead and pull the front mud flaps off the, the rear axle here. Since I've already broken one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, oh, I wish it wasn't dark. But here in just a second, for you, we'll be outside driving this beast, because this thing is a tank.
right guys, so <laughs> that was a blast. This thing is fantastic. I didn't break anything. Uh, we scratched it up a little bit on the bottom side, but you know, I'm not gonna go easy on it. I wanna see what it can do, see what it'll withstand. Um, we got some scratches and stuff up on the front, some mud caked on it. Looking to park, that was actually a blast. This thing rips in high gear. Um, I did that, you can see it was in low gear and high gear. Um, it's a little finicky getting it in the high gear. Yeah, I have to stop, kick it in the high gear and go in reverse and then it'll engage. But uh, it's no big deal because it, it gets. And uh, this does not come with a battery. They recommend a 3000 milliamp LiPo. This is the only one I had. This little small one came with a boat I got from Banggood also. And uh, yeah, I got 30 minutes of runtime on this. 18 milliamp, 11.1. Good little pack. That was a lot of fun. This thing is a beast. Um, I did figure out this uh, exhaust stack here. That is all metal. That's part of the gearbox, and it is a handle. It helps in carrying it in and out of the house. So the <laughs> this thing is awesome, though. Luckily, I didn't damage it too bad. They got that big metal skid plate on the front, so when you're approaching the rocks or anything on it, just slides right down it. Um, all my axles and the transfer case all got some nicks on the front but uh overall this thing is awesome i can't wait to uh do some more stuff to it i'm i'm doing a little research right now i've never done any military vehicles so i'm looking at doing some uh light weathering on it trying to uh get that more genuine look and uh i'd really like to do some kind of canopy it's got all the provisions for it I haven't found anything online available yet from HG for that, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I did order a sound unit. I haven't ordered LEDs yet. I think I'm going to wait on that for now. But, uh, I, I, I want to hear it with the sound. I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, the sound unit was like, I think it was like 35 bucks shipped. And it does have to come from, uh, overseas, so it'll be a little while. I'll show you the underside a little bit. Not too, too banged up at all. Got a few scratches on the axles. That uh, fuel cell slash radio box or electronics box, it'd take quite a beating, but held up just fine. Need a, might make a skid plate or something for it. <laughs> and up front, that, that cable driven steering is excellent. It was perfectly aligned right out of the box. I didn't have to do anything to it. And uh, even under pressure with all that weight kind of bound up on the rocks, it would still turn. It would still give me the movement I needed. And uh, it's got a decent amount of flex, very realistic all between all eight tires. And uh, yeah, you can hang a axle off the rocks just fine, not have any issues. You can see up front, the skid plate took quite a beating. That axle got the worst of it. So anyway, guys, be sure to check out banggood.com. That's where I got this bad boy at. I really like it. Uh, I'm hoping to do some more with it here in the near future and find some new places to go drive this thing. But uh, yeah, be sure to check out Banggood. They have this in this configuration as well as the P802, which is the same thing just with a uh, deck plate and a fifth wheel. And the instructions do show a radio trailer, but I've not yet seen that available anywhere. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty dang cool. I couldn't be happier with this thing. But I appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to follow along on Instagram and Facebook. Like, subscribe, and share, and keep it scale. I'll see you all in the next video.